manufacturers have some sort of historic contamination, be it spills of chlorinated solvents or other chemicals that are used in their processes. And they now are charged by either the state or federal systems with cleaning up the spill. Depending on where it's located, the geology can be challenging. It may be in fractured bedrock, it may be in a tight clay or tight till, or maybe it's in a challenging location under the building or somewhere else that has access issues. And we get a lot of these legacy sites that other companies have worked on and have maybe cleaned up the more commodity type work, and but they still have the challenging components of the project left to complete. And that is a lot of times where Geosyntech is able to step in and take over the project. We can do that from either a technical perspective by bringing in our engineers and geologists to look at the situation and come up with some unique solutions. We partner with a number of contractors who have experience reme performing remediation in difficult geologies and areas. And then as well as regulatory experts who might be able to get, say, a technical and practicability waiver together if there's no engineering solution. So there can be multiple avenues to getting the projects to closure, depending on what the site and the system look like. So for our clients who have a portfolio of sites, one of the key things that we offer is our diversity geographically across the country and in other countries that help us understand local regulations. So there's a difference between regulations, be it federally or from state to state or in different countries, and having our local resources and regulatory experts across the company is a key component for some of our clients. And we can connect our clients in each of those local facilities with a regulatory expert. And they can walk the client through and what are the components and communications with regulators required from state to state or federally. We can do that through your contacts network or the company has created these networks and email chains for specific practitioners, groups that you send out a blast and you get responses back very quickly from experts that have similar sites to yours or have worked on a specific regulatory problem before. And you can bring them on to the project as an advisor or maybe a key component of the project team depending on what is needed.